It's uh, June 7th, about 9 o'clock in the morning, a little after that. I'm going to take another look at the hive here. Um, I added a second uh, brood box on the bottom, about either five or maybe about five days ago, which isn't all that long, but I want to go in and see if they're starting to make comb in it, if they finished up uh, the comb in the uh, top brood box, which is the first brood box, <clears throat> and just kind of look at everything. I see the bees going in, uh, have a lot of pollen in their baskets, uh, probably clover. Clover's in uh, bloom right now. Dandelion is finished, just about finished. So <clears throat> I'm going to let it run here in the front of the hive while I prepare to open up the hive or start opening it. activity here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and we'll make some adjustments here. inner cover off here. I'm sure they're not going to like that, but they've got it kind of locked in here a little bit. Oh yeah, busy, busy, busy. Wow. There's a lot of bees on the top of the box. <laughs> oh boy, it's a little different than before. Usually the frames on uh, the west end, the closest frame, um, one that's least done. <clears throat> there are just tons of bees.
sure seem to be paying more attention to me than they used to. Okay, this is a frame that's most to the west. Oh boy. I got one landed on me. Oh, they're buzzing my face. I didn't put my foot on and I should have. I think I'm gonna put it on. This isn't as much fun as it used to be. It's a little more scary. Uh, I think I'm going to pause this and maybe get the smoker. All right, <clears throat> have to splice these two together. I just went out and got this. Went and got the smoker. I really hate using this thing. I'll lightly smoke them here. Of course, it went out. Try it without it, I don't know. We got a little smoke on here. There are so many bees, it's hard to even find a place to grab these things. This is Number two from the west. Comb is a little irregular. As it all is. I'm a little concerned about that, to say the least. I'm going to back the camera back out. Seems like when I'm zoomed in, it <coughs> has some issues. Try to hold the frame up to the camera when I get it out. The last frame was, seemed like mostly new honeycomb, nothing on it. This is three from the west. Kept Kept brood. Wow. Very irregular. getting bumped by the bees every once in a while, but so far so good. Let me move this camera at more of an angle. So I'm not looking at my arm all the time. <coughs> Maybe we will anyway. Trying to let that bee get away from where my finger was going to go. More capped brood. Some have hatched out of here. Um, really not seeing a lot of honey or anything on these frames. Well, there's some honey there. 
some cat brood, some that have hatched out. Still haven't seen the queen. Well, I hope the honey supers are straighter than these. I guess these are okay, but boy, are they crooked. That was number four. We're going to number five here. Five from the west. Again, same thing. A couple bees over here in the upper right hand corner. They got their heads all the way in the high or in the comb. I see no queen. A lot of capped brood. There's a bee with a ton of pollen on its baskets. Same thing on this side. I see a big drone there, but that is not the queen. Okay. <clears throat> This will be number five from the west. Be in my hand. Looks like a lot of bees have hatched out of this one recently. A lot of camped brood. These things are just. Uh, reproducing like crazy right now. No queen, but the comb is 99%. Well, I'm glad I put that other box in when I did. They have got this one about tapped out. Oh boy, I stirred him up there. Jerked it a little bit. It was stuck and it came loose in a hurry. It made some buzzing. I don't know if you heard that on the... Well, there's a bunch of drone cells. There's some capped honey. I don't recall seeing any pollen whatsoever. And they were bringing it in like crazy, but they must be using it. Oh boy, a lot of drone cells there. Kept brood. Yeah, they got these locked in. I'm sure I'm not holding these things up in front of the camera correctly. loose. Please do some serious buzzing. A lot of capped brood. Some honey up in the upper right hand corner. See any queen cells, thank goodness. We're getting down to the first two frames that they started to use here and they're up against the wall too and I think that's where the problem came in. They 
started up on the east wall building comb and then all the other frames are bowed out because of what they did in initially. A lot of cap brood again. Some of the cap brood is older. Looks like it's probably ready to um, maybe get close to hatching out. Looks like there's I must have broke some honey up there. Hope that comes through in the camera. I broke the uh, honey cells and it looks like the bees are trying to repair it. So sorry about that guys, girls. Oh yeah, there's some honey down there in the bottom. There's a bee trying to put it back where it belongs. Strange. So one more frame here and then I gotta move this whole box. I hate doing this last one. It's probably mm -hmm. stuck up against the wall. Mm -hmm. It's stuck against the wall. I'm prying it away. And all the bees are sitting there looking up at me. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry, girls. see honey running here so I knock some of the honey off again. That's what happens when it's crooked like this. Some more drone cells. Still haven't seen a queen. She might have been in here but oh yeah there's just all kinds of comb up against the wall and at some point I'm gonna have to do something about that. Not at this point. Try to get the frames back where they belong so I can get the other two back in here. or not, plus the bees are everywhere. I'm going to try to put them back in the way I took them out. Getting the second frame in right now. But I'm knocking some bees off. They were a little... I'm trying to nudge them a little bit slowly here so they don't squished. This is all new comb on this one. We're just laying it out. Get them in here. Get them all set. Okay. 
that's the uh, first main box. So far, so good. They're buzzing a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna try to set this box off and see what's going on downstairs. Hopefully they're starting to build comb and stuff down there. Sure buzzing. Bump it into me a bit. I'm gonna do a lot down here if there's nothing going on, and it sure doesn't look like there's much going on down here at all. We're still working upstairs. So the queen must have been up there somewhere. I just didn't see her. See any indication they're making any kind of honeycomb down here whatsoever. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around with it. Just put everything back together. Too soon, I guess, but didn't see any queen cells in there. That's a good thing. Get this all lined back up here again. <laughs> Bottom box seems a little bigger than the top. There is a little bit of mold in there. I don't like that. I think I killed a couple of bees here somewhere along the road. That's that. I may stick a 
honey super on top just for the heck of it, just so it's there. But everything else is all back together. So, we'll see how this all came out.